Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and I want to show you how to do conditional logic with WP Fluent Forms on your WordPress website. So I have WP Fluent Forms installed on my website already. All right, it's a paid plugin, and it's a really nice form plugin that you can use with your WordPress website. Check out my Fluent Forms review video if you haven't seen it yet, if you want to know more about Fluent Forms. But let's go into how you do conditional logic with Fluent Forms right now. First, you, you want to have a form that you have, or you know, you want to have a form loaded. I have a just a basic application form loaded here. Now, let's just say if they select one of these options, okay, one of these options, this item will show up. So what do we have to do in order to achieve that? You want to go to your item that you want to show up or not show up, and you want to go to the pencil and click edit. You'll come to input customization, and you want to go down to advanced options. All right, once you click on advanced options, you'll see this box open up, and down here at the bottom it says conditional logic, yes or no. Okay, go ahead and choose yes, and then you'll select if you want it to match any condition or all conditions. So if it will match one thing or everything, so I'm just going to go with any for this example, and it's going to be just this question. So command or current demand generation activities. So you want to select that question that you want in this box. Okay. So if they choose whatever answer on this question is equal to or not equal to. So it can be equal to if, if they choose this or not equal to where they don't choose it. So if they choose it, so it's equal and it's going to be paid search SEO. So if they choose paid search SEO, if that's one of the answers, and this one will, uh, this question will appear. So let's go ahead and go to save form. Now let's go to preview and design, and I'll open that in a new tab. All right, and here it is, and as you can see, the question that was here previously is not here. Now I wanna show you something else too, uh, something down here that you can do different with text and conditional logic. But let's go ahead and see what we are doing with this right here because I'm, I'm going to show you something pretty neat with this down here uh, in this button and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and see this one with conditional logic. So if we choose this direct mailer, nope, nope, nope. Okay, you can choose all these. Okay, now if it chooses this one, there it comes up. Okay, and if it doesn't, all right, and then if it just chooses that one, it still shows up. All right, so that's how you do that conditional logic. That's a pretty simple thing to do with uh, Fluent Forms right here. Now, I want to show you something else. You can go a little bit further with it. So say, for example, um, you need somebody's email address. So that if, if it's not Facebook.com, they won't show up on, this button won't show up to upload a picture of them, okay? So click the button again. And then let's go to Input Customization and Advanced Options. Conditional Logic, yes. All right, so all of the things have to match. And it's going to be the Sales Inquiry email address. All right, is equal to or not equal to or less than or has a part includes all right includes and then you just want to put what it includes at facebook.com and actually i should use a different example because i don't want them getting emails us but uh you know mike .com. okay and now let's go to save now let's scroll down here and if we see our email address our sales inquiry michael shaman at gmail.com doesn't work but if we do uh michael shaman at uh mike shaman Dot com it should work there we go there it is there it goes so that's how the text works you know if you if you want to um, do text like conditional logic that's how that works all right and one other thing I want to show you with this conditional logic is that if you want to have multiple items selected on this form so let's go back to this uh, section right here and go to advanced options so if they want to maybe you want to do paid SEO and social media you just hit plus and another one will pop up, okay? Now this is where all and any, and, and then your equal and not equal is set up correctly, okay? So you wanna go to the same question, and you wanna make sure that it's equal to, you know, whatever it was, social media. So if it matches social media or paid search, it will show up if you choose any. If you choose all, this option will have to be equal for both of them, okay? So they will need to choose both social media and paid search in order for this to show up. All right, if you choose any, they can choose one and have this show up, okay? Either or, they can choose one and have it show up, okay? I wanna explain that before I let you guys go into the conditional logic that if you do have multiple items, make sure your all and any are correct and that your equal and not equal, okay, are correct. But all and any is gonna be the main one. 
So that's how you can do conditional logic with WP Fluent Forms. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this. Go ahead and check out my other Fluent Forms tutorials as I'm releasing a few more. And I also have some really, really nice uh, Divi theme tutorials and WordPress tutorials that you can check out on my channel as well. So go ahead and check those out and I'll see y'all in the next video.